Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, coach. Good evening, okay. Teacher. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for waiting. All right, let me take the screenshot and we're going to start right now. Okay, hello everybody. I hope you're having a good night. Let's go ahead and get started. Listos, let's do attendance. All right, uh, Freddie Emerson. Freddie Emerson. Mayra, uh, Mayra Roxana. Present teacher. Monica Esther Olmedo. Present. Natalie Priscilla. Natalie Priscilla Velasquez. Eh, Pablo Alejandro. Present teacher. Paola Maria. Present. Pavel Eduardo Herrera. Present. Rafael Antonio Morales. Present. Rebeca Saraí. Rebeca Saraí. Rodrigo Antonio Meléndez. Rodrigo Daniel Meléndez. Present. Okay. Rolando Eliseo Martínez. Present. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Ruby Abigal. Guardón. Ruby, Ruby Guardón. Ruth del Carmen. Present teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Pinal. Sandra Lisette Merlos. Present teacher. Sergio Javier Díaz. Present teacher. Silvia Raquel Rodríguez. Present. Silsa Saray. Present teacher. Tania Fabiola. Present. Tatiana Beatriz. Present teacher. Tatiana Yamilet. Present. Tania Jasmine. Tania. Eh, Vanessa del Carmen. Vanessa del Carmen. Verónica de Los Ángeles. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Wilber Alexander Martinez. Wilfredo Alberto Méndez. Sochley Alexandra. Present. And Yanira Marisol Barahona. Okay, very good guys. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, recibieron la guía for today? No me mencionó, profe. No. Méndez Alberto. Sí, presente. No recibí guía hoy, profe. Sí, aquí la tengo, no se preocupe. Yo, eh, yo voy a proyectar, no se preocupe. Cada vez cuando pasando la, la lista. Eh, Alberto Méndez, hey, where are you? Presente. No, no, yo sé, yo sé, solo te estoy buscando. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Very good. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to. So today is the 10th and this is class number 11. Class number 11. Ok, very good. So, eh, alguien nos está diciendo quién, Rodrigo Méndez. Rodrigo, no, no te escuché decir present. Okay. All right. No, no te escuché, Rodrigo.
Okay. Very good. Let's go. So yesterday we learned about the, the pronouns, right? So aprendimos pronouns, right? Uh, just very, very simple, right? Review. You can use subject pronouns, object pronouns. Eh, lo van a aprender, creo que en el otro módulo, so no se, no, no, no se estresen por esos. Subject pronouns, possessive adjectives, and possessive pronouns. Okay? So, para este módulo, módulo 1, deberían de manejar este, estas, estos tres, ¿verdad? So, let's do some examples. I have a green sweater. Ahí está el uso del subject I. This is my sweater, right? This is my sweater. También puedo describir el color, solo que ahí se me olvidó it. It is, it is green, okay? This is my sweater, right? This is my green sweater, sorry. This is my green sweater, okay? This is my green sweater. This green sweater is mine. So ahí está el uso correcto, right? This is my green sweater. This green sweater is mine. Okay? So ¿qué estoy describiendo? Green sweater. Right? Yo voy a usar el possessive adjectives si lo que yo voy a describir está al final. This green sweater is mine. Yo voy a usar el possessive pronoun si lo que yo estoy describiendo está antes. Cool? All right. El uso de mí, this green sweater belongs to me. Okay, very good. Now look, um, no se preocupen, yo le voy a pasar esta información. Link, all right? I want you to go to this link if you, if you want more practice. Algunos quieren más práctica, okay? Quieren ver más cosas, quieren estudiar esto un poquito más, quieren practicar más, aquí hay un enlace, okay? All right, very good. So. Let's go to uh, the knowledge check, 4.7. So vamos al, al uso de la plataforma, okay? Porque quiero que todos puedan hacer el ejercicio que sigue después de, de esa lección. Okay, so let's go to 4.7. esperando que cargue. Ahí está. Ok. Eh, 4.6. Knowledge check. No es el 7, 4.6. Knowledge check. Let's do this together, right? Is this Jennifer's hat? No, it's not hers. It's mine. 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 It's mine. Okay. Are these blank gloves? Are these? Yours. Yeah. Your. Your gloves. Your. your gloves, right? Porque your is a possessive adjective. Este es el possessive adjective, right? Y el possessive adjective siempre va antes de lo que voy a describir. Okay. Are these your gloves? Okay. Now, Yo pudiera también decir esto. Are these gloves yours? Ahí sí, voy a usar yours. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Number two, again. No, they are not my gloves. My. 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 Let's ask Sally. Maybe they are her. 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 Blank t-shirt are these. Whose whose t-shirts are these? Who's. Are there Julie's and Pat's? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. they are not. Blank t-shirts. There. They're correct. Yeah. 
But these socks are? Theirs. Theirs. Ahora sí, right? Theirs. Theirs. Uh -huh. Porque está al final, ¿verdad? Theirs. Entonces, ¿ven esta diferencia? Acá, lo que yo estoy describiendo, en este caso, ¿verdad? Es esto. T-shirts. ¿Ok? So, el possessive adjective, el cual es este, va a ir antes. ¿Ok? Aquí yo estoy describiendo socks. El possessive pronoun va después de lo que estoy describiendo. ¿Sí? But these socks are theirs. Ok. Ok. Very good. Let's, let's continue. And these shorts are? Yours. 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 Right? Porque va al final. Hey, these are not blank clothes. Oh. 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 Uh, ours. Our. Mm -hmm. Our. 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 You're right. Blank are over there. Oh. Ours. 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 Ours are over there. Okay? 100, ¿verdad? 100. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. ¿Alguien tiene, tuvo alguna pregunta o duda sobre eso? Ah, ¿verdad? Okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, voy a abrir una presentación de PowerPoint. So, la mayoría de lo que vamos a hacer ahorita es el PowerPoint. So, por eso no mandé guía. All right. Very good. So, I want to do a quiz. Okay, I want to test you. All right, so let's see if we can do it. Right, so escriban allí del 1 al 10 en un papelito, right there, somewhere. Do 1 through 10. Okay, 1 through 10. And ya voy a compartir con ustedes la pantalla. 1 through 10. Let's do a little practice, right? So we're going to do a quiz. And you're going to be able to choose, all right? So, escriban del 1 al 10, ustedes van a escribir sus respuestas, all right? Number one, solo escriban la letra de la respuesta. Number one, Junko has eaten her lunch already, but I am saving blank until later. No, no digan la respuesta. <laughs> este es un examen. Quiz. This is a test. One more time. Junko has eaten her lunch already, but I am saving blank until later. Okay. Number two. Blank pencil is broken. Can I borrow blank? ¿Cuál sería? No la diga. Una pregunta. En este caso es una sola respuesta. Una sola respuesta. Ajá. Y obviamente sí. cada respuesta tiene dos. dos hay dos opciones. So tienen que elegir A, B, C, D. Only one. Bye. Number three. My bird has broken blank wing. This bird has broken blank wing. Remember, they're speaking about a bird. It's an animal. Okay, number four. Jody has lost blank book. Jody 
Jody has lost blank book. Number five, blank computer is a Mac, but blank is a PC. Blank computer is a Mac, but blank is a PC. Number six, we gave them blank telephone number and they gave us blank. We gave them blank telephone number and they gave us blank. The C, I guess the answer is the C. No digan la respuesta, Albert. Eh, hazla tú, Escri yo dije que tenía que escribir su respuesta en un papelito, ¿vale? cada quien. Number seven, you can't have any chocolate, it's blank. Number seven, you can't have any chocolate, it's blank. Number eight, was blank grammar book expensive? Number eight, was blank grammar book expensive? Number nine, my telephone is out of order, but blank is working. Number nine, my telephone is out of order, but blank is working. Number 10, these grammar books are different. Blank has 278 pages, but blank has only 275. Ok, very good. ¿Alguien quiere ver alguna otra? ¿Qué tal? ¿Repasar alguna? Ya las vamos a ver todas, pero sí. La primera bien. me quedé yo, teacher. Ok. Junko has eaten her lunch already, but I am saving blank until later. Ok, so podemos empezar a contestar, all right. Number one, what, what is the correct answer? What do you have? What letter? Hers? D. 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 Letter D. Junko has eaten her lunch already, but I am saving mine. Very good. Very good. So, usted mismo se, se pueden corregir. Okay? Number two, blank pencil is broken. Can I borrow blank? What letter? C. 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 Okay. Some people say D, some people say C. The correct answer is C. C. Okay. My pencil is broken. Can I borrow yours? Okay. What is the bubble? Number three, this bird has broken blank wing. A. Mm. A. It's, pero esta, D. tengan cuidado D. con esto, porque D. esto, 
See, the correct answer is D, relax. <laughs> But, this is the correct answer, right? Tengan cuidado con esto. ¿Por qué? Porque aquí lo que están diciendo es it is, solo que está en contracción. So, A, definitivamente no. Okay. The correct answer is D. D, letter D. It's. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Number four. Jody lost blank book. B. 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 Her book. Jody lost her book. Correct. Her, her book. Her book. Okay. So, tienen que estar autocorrigiéndose ustedes, right? Check. Number five. Blank computer is a Mac, but blank is a PC. A. 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 Is that C. correct answer? No. Your computer is a Mac, but mine is a PC. Okay. Very good. So, recuerden que si normalmente cuando un sujeto está al inicio, es los primeros que aprendimos. Subject. Subject a uh, pronoun. Right? Very good. Number six. We gave them blank telephone numbers and they gave us. D. Number six. The correct answer is D. We gave them our telephone numbers and they gave us theirs. Okay. Oh, that's. Number seven. You can't have any chocolate. It's mine. D. 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 Correct. D. It's mine. Correct. It's mine. Mine. Eight. Was blank grammar book expensive? Eight. 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 Correct. Yes. Yes. Was your grammar book expensive? Very good. Number nine. My telephone is out of order, but blank is working. His is working. But mm -hmm. his is working. It's his. Mm -hmm. Correct. Number 10. This one was a little bit difficult. This grammar books, these grammar books are different. Punto, right? My, pero aquí estamos hablando de algo que, que my, let me see, see, algo que pertenece. Yours has 278 pages and mine has only 275. Okay. My. Questions? All right. So, aquí voy a escribir todas uh, para que las puedan ver. Number one was D. Number two. C. Number three, D. Number four, B. Number four, B. Number five, A. Number six, D. Number seven, D. Number eight, A. Number nine, C. C. And number 10. A. A. Okay. Pueden revisar. Check. Oh, perdón. <laughs> La borré. All right. Very good. Pero yo creo que ya revisaron. Va. Sí, sí. Okay. So, ¿cómo hicieron? Del 1 al 10. How many correct? Nine. Nine. Six. Six. Six, correct? Oh, okay. Nine. 
Five. I have I have five. Okay. Sorry. Six. Six, seven, por ahí están. <laughs> what happened? Have, have six, six, five. Okay. Five. five. All right, very good. So look, eh, ahora que le voy a pasar algo. El, le voy a pasar la guía que, que estuve trabajando, pero mayormente vamos a estar en un PowerPoint ahora, ¿ok? All right. Ok, en esa guía, ahorita no, no, no vayan ahí, ahorita no hagan esos ejercicios, pero hay un enlace donde ustedes pueden encontrar más prácticas de estas, así como las que yo hice ahorita, ¿ok? Les pueden hacer más pruebas, quiz. Okay. All right. Very good. I want to now go to the next topic. The next topic that we're going to introduce sería otro tema, the present continuous statements. Okay. The present continuous is used to talk about actions that are happening now. Okay. The present continuous se usa para eh, eh, hablar de acciones que están pasando ahorita mismo. Son acciones presentes y están en continuación. Okay. For example, right? ¿Qué estamos haciendo todos nosotros? We are studying English. Okay. So. Lento, no lo vas a lastimar. Okay. Eh, ¿Pueden apagar los micrófonos, por favor? ¿Algunos tienen el micrófono encendido? We are studying. English. Okay. Esto es lo que estamos haciendo ahorita, right? We are studying English, right? Aquí no dice cuándo va a terminar. Aquí no dice cuánto va a durar la clase. Simplemente dice we are studying English. Okay. So, como todos siempre aprendemos positive, negative, and questions, right? Esas son las tres estructuras más importantes, right? Conocer los positivos, los negativos, y la pregunta. Okay, so, simple present, right? Positive statements. Necesito tener subject and verb to be. Verb to be. Then the regular verb plus ing. Plus eh, cualquier tipo de complemento. For example, I am studying English. Eso lo estoy haciendo ahorita yo. I am studying English. He is eating dinner. He is eating dinner. Okay. Positive statements, right? Very good. So, recuerden, ¿verdad? Aquí como el uso del verb to be. El uso del verb to be es determinado por el sujeto siempre, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si yo digo they are eating dinner. Entonces, allí es are, ¿por qué? Porque es plural, ¿verdad? So, el sujeto determina cuál verb to be voy a usar. Am, is, or are. Okay. Then I have negative statements. Right? No solamente positivo, también puedo hacer negativo too, right? You can say, for example, I am not eating lunch. I am not eating lunch. She is not watching TV. She's not watching TV. Right? Very good. So, I get in there. No sé quién es, pero alguien tiene el micrófono, por favor, apáguelo. Tiene un reggaetón ahí. <laughs> eh, creo que eres tú, Pavel. Okay. Please be careful. Tengan cuidado. Apaguen su micrófono. All right. Very good. Um, negative, ¿eh? Ya vieron el negativo. Va después del verb to be. No va antes. Va después. I am not. ¿Ok? ¿Qué puedo hacer? Contraer el verb to be con el negativo, ¿verdad? Ustedes ya aprendieron a hacer eso, ¿verdad? Isn't or aren't. ¿Ok? Contraer. Pueden contraer. No hay problema. ¿Ok? Very good. Okay, and then we have questions with the present continuous. 
Entonces lo que hacemos es mover el verb to be al inicio, aquí. Are you walking in the park? Are you studying English? Are you eating dinner? Are you talking on the phone? Okay, estoy haciendo preguntas en el presente continuo. Okay. Very good. Questions? Questions, preguntas, questions, questions. Sí, teacher. O sea que para el verbo, con, el presente continuo siempre tiene que ser el, el verb más el ing, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Siempre que se Correct. vea es, y con ing es, es un presente continuo. Mm, sí y no. Hay algunos ejemplos, eh, hay algunas oraciones donde se usa el verbo más ing, pero no son simple, eh, present continuous, sino que se le, se le llaman gerunds en inglés. Gerunds. Este es otro tema. Solo te estoy diciendo para que no, no te van a confundir. Este no es el tema de ahorita. Gerunds, ¿ok? Um, gerunds, uh, for example, I... Uh, let's see, let's see, example. Um, but yet, for example, um, man, let me see, let me see. I believe in respecting other people. Right? This is an example, right? Es, este es un nivel más avanzado, ¿verdad? Eh, es intermedio, pero eh, te explico que aquí tú usas la palabra respecting en su forma ing, pero no lo estás usando en present continuous. Esto se llama un gerund. ¿Ok? Right? Donde el verbo se convierte en el objeto de la oración. ¿Ok? So, um, ese es otro tema. Ok, thank you. Pero siempre cuando tú veas esta combinación del verb to be y el ing, siempre va a ser present continuous. Eso sí. Cuando tú veas el verb to be ahí metido y el ing, present continuous. Ok. Preguntas, questions. Questions. Ok, very good. También puedes usar conjunctions, right? Conjunctions son palabras para unir diferentes pensamientos. For example, I am eating dinner and watching TV. Estoy uniendo las dos cosas, ¿verdad? Porque estoy haciendo estas dos cosas ahorita. I am eating dinner and watching TV. I am having lunch, but I am not talking on the phone. Este but es cuando nosotros decimos en, en español, pero. Right? Estoy comiendo, pero no estoy viendo televisión. It's the, it's the same thing, right? Very good. So, recuerden que podemos usar conjunctions también. Okay. Questions. What are you doing now? Okay. Escriban en el chat, en el present continuous, lo que están haciendo ahorita. What are you doing now? Escriban en el chat. Todos me pueden dar un ejemplo. What are you doing now? Okay, very good, Ruby. I am studying English. Very good. Um, Rodrigo, I'm studying English. I am eating a cookie. Very good, Sergio. Um, I am studying English, good. I am writing my example, very good, very good. I am at the screen, eh, Mendes, Alberto. Eso no es present continuous. Eso no es present continuous, tenés que tener ING. ¿Verdad? Tenés que estar haciendo una acción. I am, and then an action, right? I am studying English, very good, socially. Uh, Pablo, I have listened the English class, no. Tienes que describir lo que estoy haciendo ahorita. I am listening to the English class. Tatiana, very good. I am listening to you. Very good. Tania, I am learning English. Excellent. Tatiana, I am eating dinner. Very good. Uh, 
Alberto, I am listening. Very good. Ahí solo te falta un complemento. Right, Alberto, I am listening. Listening to what? Okay, ¿Qué, les, ¿qué estás escuchando? Right? I am listening to the radio. I am playing guitar and singing. Very good, Rolando. Excellent. Excellent. Tatiana, I am writing in my notebook. Excellent. Vanessa, I am dancing. Okay. All right. Very good. Ex excellent examples. Very good. You guys are doing very, very well. Okay. So I want you, aquí ya solo es un tema de vocabulario, right? Ya cuando tenés la estructura, ya solo es un tema de vocabulario. That's it, right? Okay. Examples. Let's make these into simple uh, present continuous. You blank use my mobile phone. Using. You are using my mobile phone. Okay. Eh, no, no, no se preocupen mucho por la parte de spelling ahorita, ¿verdad? De cómo letrear y todo, ¿verdad? Cómo se escribe. No se preocupen mucho por eso. Preocúpese de usar la estructura, right? El verb to be más el verbo con ing. My dad is washing. Very good. Correct. Number three. It. My name. It's, it's not raining today. It's not raining. It's not raining. It's not raining. It's not raining today. Very good. Number four. Who, Who is she chatting? Who is, chatting Who to is now? she? Necesito she to be. Chatting. Let me see. Chatting. Who is she chatting to now? Very good. Chatting. Number five. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Este, este será la que mañana nos vamos a enfocar en este tipo. Look. Okay. Que sería WH and present continuous. Number six. We, we are sitting. We are sitting. We are sitting. We are sitting on the train. On the train. On the Number train. students. The students. Are having, are, having, are, having, are having lunch. Very good. All right. So I want to share with you now a presentation. I want you to see this presentation. And we're going to do some practices. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. All right, let me share with you this presentation. Okay, I'm going to ask you, what are they doing? What are they doing? Look at the picture and describe all the activities that you see. Okay, what are they doing? They are, they are studying. studying. They, they are studying. studying. Very they good. are taking notes. Very good. Uh huh. También puede ser. They are taking notes. Uh huh. What else? No. They are thinking. They are thinking. Están sentados, right? They are sitting. Writing. They are. They are writing. Very good. Writing. Uh mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. They are watching watching paper. Yes, they are watching the paper. Very good. Okay, next next picture. What are they doing? They are a sitting. They are sitting. They are sitting. Now they sometimes are relaxing. They are relaxing. They are taking the sun. They are taking the sun. Very good. Excellent. Resting. Huh? Resting. They are resting. Uh huh. Very good. They are resting. Okay. Next picture. Look at these people. They're shopping. shopping. They are shopping. They are shopping. They are shopping. Very good. Next. They are exercising. They are 
Doing they are exercising. Exercise. They are exercising. Todo tiene que terminar en in. Exercising. Exercising. Yes. They are running. Ah, yes, perdón. Lo cambié, pero yes, they are running. Very good. They are working. working. They are working. They are fixing. Están arreglando el carro. They are fixing the car. Okay. What are they doing? They, they are, are eating. Eating. They, they are talking. They are, they are talking. Dinner. Very good. Or they are eating dinner. Okay. Very good. They are sitting. They are sitting. Okay. Very good. Excellent. They job. are joining. Uh-huh. They are chatting. They are joining. Okay. They're a La, la palabra sería meeting. They are meeting. Se están reuniendo. They are meeting. Okay. Very good. Excellent job. Okay. I have another one. All right. La siguiente ustedes la van a practicar. Okay. Ustedes van a escribir in the chat. Okay. So let me see. Okay. Eh, pueden escribir en el chat, okay? So les voy a dar tiempo, no se preocupen, no hay prisa, right? So traten de usar la, la estructura correcta. Ahora vamos a hacer algo diferente, vamos a usar en positivo y en negativo. Okay? All right? Eh, de hecho, hagamos las, las tres. Positive, negative, and questions. Positivo, negativo, y preguntas. Okay? All right, si la, la, la podemos hacer según la foto. Okay, very good. So, first, voy a hacer una positiva, negativa, and question. Okay, le voy a dar un minuto. Ready? Now, les recomiendo que escriban las tres de un solo en su chat. Right? Escriban las tres de un solo en vez de una por una. So, escriban las tres y después denle send al mensaje. Le voy a dar un minuto. Okay, let's check. They're very good. Uh, she's calling. She's not calling. Is she calling? Okay, very good, very good. Okay. Okay, very good, very good. Estoy revisando rapidito. You guys are doing very good. Uh, Okay, very good. Let's let's do another one. Next. What about this one?
Okay, let's see. Do we have some chats already? Okay, Albert, very good. She's jogging. Uh, yeah, very good. But give me some sentences in negative also. All right, no se olviden practicar el negativo, right? She's not running. Very good, very good. Rodrigo, very good. Is she yeah, running? I have a question. No se olviden el, el, la el símbolo de pregunta. Is she running? Uh -huh. Teacher. Yes, yes. Tell me. Este, porque en algunos verbos hay que agregarles una N o a veces, no sé, no entiendo eso. Sí, ese es un tema de, de spelling. Okay. Algunos verbos se le agrega la S. Eh, una, se duplica la última letra y se le agrega ING. Okay. Mira, no, no te enfoques mucho en eso, pero es simplemente cuando hay esta combinación. Cuando hay una combinación de consonante, vocal, consonante. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Cuando existe esa combinación, en esa orden, entonces se le agrega, eh, se duplica la última letra. En este caso sería una N. Y se le agrega ING. Entonces se escribe running. Y en el okay. caso de swim, también. Sí, porque swim también. Swim. Si tú ves, es la forma como termina. No es como se escribe, ¿verdad? Puede tener cinco letras, diez letras, no importa. Consonante, vocal, consonante. Cuando existe eso, entonces se le duplica la última letra y se le agrega a ING. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Now, no te enfoques mucho en esa regla porque hay excepciones. <ríe> so, no te... Hay ciertas ex excepciones, ¿verdad? Pero, pero está bien. Como regla general, está bien eso. Okay. Very good. Ok, very good. Excellent. Another. Ahora, ya vi que ya están practicando la, la, la escritura. Está bien. Ya revisé. La mayoría está bien en la forma de formar positivos, negativos y preguntas. Ahora lo podemos hacer speaking. Right? Por cuestión de tiempo. Hagámoslo en forma comunicativa. Speaking. Look at the picture. ¿Qué están haciendo? What are they doing? They are playing they soccer. Are playing soccer. Play. No, they aren't playing soccer. They are, are playing they soccer. playing soccer? Ok, very good. Now, eh, lo que, usando negativo, lo que puedo hacer es, es, es escribir algo que no están haciendo. Escribir de... Algo que no están haciendo. Por ejemplo. They are, they are not dancing. Studying. They are not studying. Correct. They are not dancing. They, they are not sitting. Correct. They are not sitting. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Next picture. They are studying. Alguien, hizo, alguien dijo they. No puede ser they. Uh -uh. Sería. He's studying. He's not dancing. 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 He's not Playing the guitar. She is playing the guitar. She is playing She's not. She's playing the guitar. No, she is. Um, she is singer. not playing the piano. She's not. Okay. Very is good. She is she playing guitar? Okay. Perfect. She is not singing. Correct. Next. He is exercising. ¿Cómo era? He is exercising. Teacher, ahí se puede poner levantando pesas, por decirlo así. Ya, yeah, también. Carlos. 
¿Cuál sería el verbo de levantando? Lifting. Lifting weights. Lifting. Very good. Next. Exercise. Uh, he is watching, he TV. Is watching, watching TV. TV. No, he is in playing soccer. Is he playing TV? Okay, okay. Now, algo que no está haciendo, for example, he is not eating. He, he is, is not sleeping. He's not sleeping. He is not dancing. Very good. Excellent. What about these people? What are they doing? He's working in the car. All right, they, porque son dos. They are working. They are working in the car. Okay, very good, very good. Eh, algo que no están haciendo. They are, they are not, not, not watching TV. They are not cooking. They are exercising. Okay, all right. Very good, right? Okay, so ¿cómo puedo responder este tipo de preguntas? Right? For example, are you lifting weights? Right? Entonces yes, puedo decir, yes, okay, I yes, I am, or en negativo, no, I am not. No, I am okay? not. Very good. Siempre le puedo agregar este complemento aquí, right? Wait. For example, no, I am not lifting weights. Siempre le puedo agregar ese complemento, right? Yes, I am lifting weights. No, I am not lifting weights. Okay. You're lifting weights. Okay. All right. Very good. So this is going to be, uh, we have five minutes. Let's do the attendance. A ver si nos da tiempo para una actividad rapidita. Uh, using the simple present. Okay. Teacher, uh -huh. nos podría mandar, bueno, en mi caso quisiera que me mandara un, unos ejercicios para practicar el possessive, el adjective que me cuesta mucho. Okay. De hecho, están en la guía, la guía que puse ahorita, la que usamos ahorita, no sé si tú estabas cuando yo dije, mire, este enlace pueden ustedes usar para practicar más. No, teacher. Ah, no estabas ahí, ok. Eh, proyecté una en la, gui la guía y hay un link ahí a otra página de tercero que ustedes pueden usar. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Ok, very good. Eh, Freddy Emerson, Mayra, Mayra Roxana, teacher. Mónica Esther Olmedo, present. Natalie Priscilla Velasquez. Natalie Priscilla, Pablo Alejandro. Present teacher. Paola María Alvarado. Present. Pavel Eduardo Herrera. Present. Rafael Antonio Morales. Present. Rebeca Saraí Rodríguez. Rebeca Saraí Rodríguez. Okay, Rodrigo Antonio Melendez. Present. Rodrigo Daniel Melendez. Present. Rolando Eliseo Martínez. Present. Rosa del Carmen Polanco. Present. Ruby Guardón. Present. Ahí está, okay. Ruth del Carmen. Present teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Espinal. Sandra Lisette Merlos. Present teacher. Sergio Javier Díaz. Present teacher. Silvia Raquel Rodríguez. Present. Silsa Saray. Present teacher. Ok. Tatiana Fabiola. Present. Okay. Tatiana Beatriz. Present. Eh, Tania. Oh, no, perdón. Tatiana Yamilet. Present. Tania Jasmine. Present teacher. Vanessa del Carmen. Present teacher. Verónica de Los Ángeles. Present teacher. Okay. 
Wilber Alexander Martinez. And Wilfredo Alberto Mendez. Presente. Okay. And Sochli Alexandra. Present. And Yanira Marisol. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. All right, nos quedan three minutes. Okay, this is the activity that you're going to do. I want you to explain to me and tell me what is your family members doing? What, what are your family members doing? Sus seres queridos ahí en la casa, ¿qué están haciendo? What are they doing? My father is watching TV. Okay, Tania, My very good. My mom watching TV. My mother is My mother is is talking with my sister. Okay, very good. Ruth Watching del Carmen. TV y cosas. Ruth del Carmen. Oh, my mother is sleeping. Okay. Sleep? Yes, that's correct. Sleeping. Very good. Rolando, you said something? My mother watching TV and eat pupusas. Okay, very good. El uso allí end, right? Very good. Uh, they Pablo. are playing video games. Hey, they are playing video games. Pablo? She's in she's TV. She's, y te falta el verbo. She's watching. Sí. Watching, watching. Watching yes. TV. Watching, okay. Okay, very good. Rafael? Watching. Rafael Antonio? My, my kids are uh, sleeping. Okay, very good. Rosa del Carmen? My mother watching TV. Uh, ¿Qué le faltó ahí a ella? Is, is, verb. is the verb to be. Right? ¿Verdad, Rosa? My mother is watching My TV. mother is watching Uh -huh. Very good, very good. So, ese es el error más común. Se nos olvida el verb to be allí en esa estructura. Monica Esther, what is uh, what are your family members doing? <laughs> My sister is studying English. Ah, okay, she's studying English. <laughs> And ¿qué más? And my father is watching TV. Very good, excellent. Hey, Vanessa del Carmen, what, what is your family members doing? Uh, my husband are sleeping on the baby. Ah, but my husband is sleeping. My husband is, is sleeping. Ah, porque solo estás hablando de él, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh, sí. Ahora, sí. si quieres decir los dos están dormidos, entonces tienen que usar uh, they, right? Are. They, they are sleeping. They are sleeping. Okay. Okay, uh, Ruby, Ruby, what are, what are your family members doing? My brother is watching TV and my mother is sleeping. Very good, excellent. Rodrigo, Antonio, what are your family members doing? They are studying. It's, they are studying. They are studying English too? Yeah. They, they are studying English? Yeah. Ah, los dos. Ah, so you, you are both studying English. Ah, nice. Okay, Paola, Maria, what are your family members doing? Uh, my mother is watching the phone and my brother is reading. Okay, excellent. Mayra, what are your family members doing? My mother is watching TV and my son is playing computing playing in the computer playing on the computer también and socially what are your so family I'm playing on the computer yes. socially what are your family members doing my father is watching tv and my sister is studying english very good excellent right so ya aprendieron otra herramienta right the present continuous right le recomiendo poder usar positive, negative, and questions, right? Es usar las tres estructuras, positive, negative, and questions, right? Porque no siempre hablamos en positivo. Siempre hay veces que hay que tener que hablar en negativo, right? Okay, very good. I'll see you tomorrow then. Take care. Bye. Have a good tomorrow? night. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Night. Night. Yes, tomorrow.